Hi, welcome to Forging and Cooking with Kids. If you go forage for food in the wild, be 100% sure that you pick the right kind. Use books and apps to make no mistakes. And kids, never eat anything out of the wild without asking your parents. Today we are foraging for milkweed. Milkweed grows to the height of 2 to 6 feet on one stalk. The leaves grow opposite from each other from the single hairy stem. Leaves are large and oval, 4 to 8 inches long and 2 to 4 inches wide. The underside of the leaf is covered with fine hair. The flowers are small and be formed out of 5 pink purplish petals. The flowers grow in round clusters and bloom from June to August. The seed pods are large seed pods around 3 to 5 inches long and they are ready in mid-August. We find our milkweeds on the foot of the mountains here in Wyoming in our fields. So here you see Those ones that are not correct. Oop, look, I push it a little too hard, and there is the milk. And we pop it up. I was reading also that a lot of native tribes used the sap for wart removal and used in ointments to treat swellings and rashes. When you collect seed pots, make sure that they have no slits. The inside should be white and silky. If it starts getting a pinkish color, they may be already hard. They also should be nicely firm. The seed pots are still so young and so soft that they are very easy to eat and not woody at all. First, we will blanch them in salt water for two minutes. Then we will soak them for a couple of hours in buttermilk. And we're making a flour cornmeal mixture with three teaspoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. We start rolling it in that mixture and start deep frying it. That recipe is actually a okra recipe, but I use it for milkweed because it has the texture and very slightly the taste of okra, so it fits perfectly. For the sauce, I used mayonnaise, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, and stone mustard. And there voila, we found another meal out in the wild.
Next week, we go and pick some wild grapes. Till then, thank you for watching and we see you next week with foraging and cooking with kids.